Fantastic. Thank you very much, Sarah Black. Great to hear some of your what's on loads. If you're inspired, don't forget you can tweet us at Made in Bristol TV, hashtag the source. Now, moving on. When I get an email that asks me to come and look at somebody's sausage, I might think twice about opening it, but in this case, they had a cool name, so I gave them the benefit of the doubt. It is Sausage Genius, and uh, I'll start off with talking to you, Matt. Hello, Matt. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Those herbs smell amazing. This, they're uh, from the allotment. Uh, yes, the sage, uh, freshly chopped. It's going to be uh, in our uh, pepper pig sausage today. How delicious. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about the company, because obviously you got in touch with us here on The Source, and it's a kitchen sort of uh, operation at the moment. Tell me a little bit about how you started. Well, uh, my mate Johnny has uh, been producing sausages for a while, and I had some uh, a while back, and they were amazing. I knew I had to get on board and uh, at a poker night uh, we had an idea of coming up with the name Sausage Genius because Johnny is the genius at making sausages um. and I looked online I couldn't find any reference to it so I bought the domain names uh, thought the logo the branding and thought right let's make this happen nice. and, so it was a light bulb moment uh, it was a light bulb <laughs> moment uh, I built the website so people could um, buy the sausages online uh, we do a lot of um, sales to some restaurants um, and cafes around the around Bristol and uh, we're looking to do more yeah. and we're looking at doing um, a lot of the festivals this year as well so uh, onwards and upwards. What is it about sausages that you love then? Well uh, the sausages that we make are, have just got the best ingredients. Uh, um, pork belly and pork shoulder are the only bits that we use. Mm -hmm. um, we use fresh herbs from the allotment and also the, the, the secret ingredient is the, uh, the sourdough breadcrumbs that Johnny makes in his kitchen. Ah. Yes. With a very special starter. I'll talk to him about that in just a moment. Good. So uh, we, you're, you're sort of helping out at the moment. I am indeed, yeah. Just chopping up some herbs while uh, Johnny does the uh, the meat. All right then. All right, Matt, I think I'm going to go over and talk to the genius. If I can disturb him while he works. Um, <laughs> hello there. Hi, Johnny. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Busy okay, busy. I don't see he's got his own microphone on. I don't need yeah. to do that. Now, uh, where are we at here with the sausages? Uh, we're just cutting up the pork at the moment. So as uh, Matt was saying, we just use pork shoulder and just pork belly. Sausages are quite famous for having some rather unsavoury cuts in them. Yeah, right. the average supermarket sausage, but mm. we we just use um, outdoor bred British meat, locally sourced as possible. Great. Um, no preservatives, no no rubbish at all. Really? So no, none of the sort of nitrates or that kind Nothing of thing. Nothing whatsoever. That you put? No, okay. you know, the sausages will last about a week on their own. You don't need that. That's good to know. I mean, and it's it's important, isn't it? Because obviously we buy these things from the supermarket, and we don't really know what's gone into them. Obviously, there was the horse meat scandal mm. a couple of years ago. So I, it's become more important. I think people are more uh, interested in what knowing yeah, where their meat comes from. Absolutely, absolutely people are more interested in the provenance. I picked up a, a pack of sausages last week in the supermarket that said 32% meat and that just blows my mind. Yeah. I was I was at least 95%. Wow. And uh, we do only use the sourdough breadcrumbs to, to bulk them out. There's no uh, there's no that none of that rusk which is kind of yeah. cardboard really. Now I hear I hear that your sourdough breadcrumbs are rather special. What's so special about them? They are rather special. They take they they're all fermented overnight but the, the sourdough starter that I use is about 180 years old. Um, I, I started 180? 180 years old, wow. yes. I, I, I learned how to make bread under the tutelage of a, of a very nice guy, a guru called Clive Mellum, up wow. in uh, Frampton upon Seven Shipton Mill, and uh, he got this sourdough starter from his mentor, who was a Flemish chap who came over from Belgium last century and he's, he's just kept feeding it. And That's that amazing! It is amazing, it's a bit like having a pet you don't want yes. to kill though, so you have to remember to feed it every day. Yeah, yeah. oh that's really special. Well, yeah. Garrett, that's lovely yeah. to know that so much, you know, history is also going into your sausages. Absolutely. Um, now, you don't sound like a Bristol man. I'm not, I'm Newcastle originally, but I've lived in Bristol for uh, 11 years now and both my boys were born here, so I, I guess oh, I lovely. am. Oh, lovely, yeah. Naturalised. Yeah. yeah, and you're yeah. here in Knoll, and uh, yeah. what is it about the sort of the Bristol scene, the food scene that you think um, that, that, that you, you're inspired? By. I think there's just the, the the people like good food here. We're surrounded by um, you know countryside where there's good produce coming from. I think uh, people, as you say, are getting more knowledgeable and more interested in the provenance. Uh, there's a lot of good festivals over Bristol. Summer's mm. just packed with things to do, and I think that's that's the ideal market for us, really. Great, good. All right, I'm going to get out of your way, and uh, or maybe I'm going to help. I'm not quite sure, and let you make some sausages, and okay. then uh, we're going to we're going to have the joy of tasting them um, at indeed. the end of the show. But for now, I'll, uh, I'll I'll leave you to make them. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. Macaroni. Give us a bash at the bangers and mash me mouth for used to mine. Eat your tagliatelle, Joe. That's all I've heard for years. Eat your vermicelli, Joe. It's coming out my ears. 
You've got to fix it. It's got to slide through my hand. Oh, that's it, yeah. Perfect. Do I have to move my hand? Um, you just got to stop the, stop the skin coming off too quickly. That's, that's the main thing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I can see why you're the genius at this. There we go. I think, uh, see, yeah. I think I'm going to hand it back to the genius. Okay, yeah. Stick, to, stick, stick to, to TV I think presenting. I'll stick to eating them and TV <laughs> presenting, yeah. I'll have okay. that bit. <laughs> now that is looking like a fine set of bangers there, Matt. Thank you very much. <laughs> they are looking amazing now. I wasn't quite sure during the making process, but they're looking familiar now. Uh, join us for part two. I'll be tasting some of these lovely sausages. And we'll be down with Sky Kong Kong and the Mighty Food Fight to hear about their Korean banquet that's happening this week. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.